Okay, we're going to make a good cup of coffee. It's culture in Mexico. The people like to talk about coffee and if you sell coffee, you have a good relation with the people. It's a little bit mystic, no? Everywhere you go, they said, ah, you are a coffee man. To bring to England the coffee is something beautiful. It's very happy word, not it's lovely. Do you want some? Was hot. Yeah, yeah, all the, all, every day. Here. I'm very happy to bring Will and, and show him what we're doing. He's a, a very enthusiastic person. He says sometimes I want to go to Mexico with you one day. This time he has the, the time to come. And I'm very happy because I think we're following the same ideas. Raf has very kindly invited me to stay at his house in Mexico and that together we'll travel to the coffee producing region um, and he will introduce me to the families and the people who are involved in growing the coffee beans and the landscape that goes with it, the mountains of Chiapas. The Vaults has been open now for four and a half years, nearly five years. It's right at the heart of the old university here in Oxford. It's a great platform where we can promote issues of fair trade and I think the coffee story ties into the work we're doing in a very, very powerful way. Okay, we're right home. The family there, Phoebe, Mami and Gavina. We're home. Hello, Will. Hi, good nice to see you. you. Good. How was the flight? Wonderful. Good. Well, really good to be here. Hi, Daddy. Hello. Welcome. Come on. Please come on in. To meet the people involved in growing, picking, producing the coffee beans is, for me, very, very, very exciting. When we stop in Jajalón, we find picking, talk with the children, feel the children walking, Maybe find the moment when they are relaxing a little bit and they start to make play. jokes. We mm. can play with them, talk with them. Mm. They are a little bit shy, but they are very mm. friendly people. Mm. Yeah, hello. It's a very special place. It's difficult to arrive there, but mm. it's... Uh, Quite isolated. Yeah, in the top. Yeah, yeah, yeah. really wow. And Yajalón yeah, is in one like a place between mountains and, and, and Go River. It's a valley, yeah. The poor people in the mountains, they have little plantations around his, their, their houses. and. Mm. And they pick, uh, the children pick everything, they dry it, and when it's ready, they go down to the village and, and start to sell the coffee. You're going to see everything. Will is going to help us connect to people and let them understand what they're actually buying. They're buying a product here that's genuine. And the fact that we do everything that we possibly can ourselves. Rafa sources the coffee and has done as long as I've known him. He's been doing it for the last 16 years. Yeah. The benefit all round is the fact that they get a good quality coffee to drink and at the other end of that, the people are getting a direct payment for their coffee. Bye bye. Mexico is a country with completely different geography and it's a very strong country with big, big contrast. Sometimes you see very powerful people in one place and 15 meters uh, poor people. Every stage you pass, you start to see completely different vegetation and people and food. Beautiful beaches and scenery is incredible. You speak English? Yes. Yeah. Poquito? A little bit. Very, very happy people and strong characters. No? All connected with the same thing. Coffee, tortilla, beans, chili. If I use three words to describe Mexico, it's uh, surrealist, colorful, happiness. We're ready to write coffee, more clear. <laughs> In Mexico, we have many places with a very good quality of coffees. The coffee from Jajalón is more uh, soft. 
For me, always this is very special, and the people like it. I only buy Yajalón coffee. I think from here to Colombia and the islands in the Caribbean is the best coffee in, in the planet, yeah, of course. The quality of the, the coffee is really exceptional. It's like nothing else we've found. The beans produce um, an exceptional, unique quality of coffee, which is loved by our customers at the vaults. This is a product which has been traded in a positive way, with a story which identifies who the people are at an individual level. I'm very keen to communicate with the people growing the coffee that this story, which is a very positive thing, is being told in England to the consumers. We're going to the coffee plantations. We're going to see the picking. They are clever people. They work hard. Normally I have relation with the old growers because they are like a books, no? I learn every time. I'm very happy work, no, to come and, and visit this place every year. It's okay? It's okay? In this area they grow Maraguan and Arabica. The best characteristics in coffee is, is 900 to 1,200. It's high altitude, humidity, soil, qualities of soil, pH. That brings the good quality to grow the coffee. And we choose that place because it covers all the characteristics. Toda su familia corta café? ¿Quién les ayuda? Tu papá, tu mamá, tus hermanos. ¿Cuántos hermanos tienes? No. ¿Uno más chico? No, grande. Mm. Everybody picks coffee. His mother, his father, and he have an older brother. ¿De cuándo empezaste? ¿Cuántos años tenían cuando empezaron? Okay. Seis. ¿Cuántos años tienes ahora? Once. ¿Te gusta? Sí. ¿Qué te gustaría hacer más grande? Cortar café. Eso, muchacho. ¿Qué más? Trabajar en la chete. Eso, me está muy bien. ¿Te gusta la escuela? Sí. He go to the school, it's a local school. Normally they work because they live here in, in the, the same place and uh, they're born here. ¿Qué usted lo que, que necesitarían los cafés, eh, la gente que se dedica al café para que tuvieran una buena producción y el café estuviera titinqui, bien? Que nos sostuvieran el precio todo el tiempo, que no suba y baje, para que entonces nosotros tengamos este estabilidad en el negocio. Es que aquí sube y luego trabajas, cuando llega la cosa... Cuando trabajas con gusto y lo levantas y puedes hacer tus trabajos. Uh -huh. Pero cuando se decae, no tienes con qué le, este, ni limpiar, uh -huh. menos para cortar el café, que yeah. ese, es la, ese es donde se gasta mucho dinero. He many times lost money, but for love to the, to the land and, and the tradition, and he says, I prefer to lose money. Nosotros no somos locos. Nos gusta porque desde niños, así como estos muchachos, sí, sí, sí. desde niños no, no, este, a, na, nacimos ya en, en, en los cafetales, pues, de chicos nos iban a pasear y a, 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 así como es, cortábamos café, cargábamos leña y todo eso, mm. porque yo nací en el rancho. They don't ask for too much. Somebody arrive with good ideas and fixing price, they make whatever they want to arrive to the uh, excellent uh, finished cup, no? You need to look after the process when you pick the, the coffee because in that moment comes the main work. Take the skin off and wash it. Now oh, we're going to see the washing now. Uh, the selection, the selection process. Yeah. Right. They work with very strict rules and all the persons work here, they have very good knowledge. We are right to make the wet process. The coffee arrives and is going to take the skin off and leave it in fermentation. We wash it with water and after that put to the sun in two or three days. The first process is now ready. Pancho is responsible for all this work. This is the energy generation. They don't have electricity, they move with water. They control the pressure, arrive to the, the impulsor and from there start to move all the equipment. They're going to use it now. Okay. 
After 36 hours, they fill it with water and wash it. The good coffee stay in the water and they put it in that surfaces to dry for two or three or four days, very good, very hot. And after that, they're going to move in each section. When it's ready, job done. Put in sacks and take to the buyer. ¿Cuántos años tienes trabajando aquí en, en, el, en, el, en el Faro? En el Faro, Ajá. pues aquí nací, aquí aprendí a trabajar, Ajá. hace unos 30 años trabajando. Ah, muy bien. Sí. ¿Están contentos con su trabajo? El trabajo sí lo hacemos con, con gusto, lo hacemos el trabajo. El único problema, pues, es como le voy a decir, que es el sueldo, que no nos alcanza. Sí. sí porque ganamos muy, muy poco, pues. Muy poco, pues. ¿Cuánto ganan? Bueno, sí, trabajando en el cafetal, pues ganamos muy poco, son 40 pesos al día, 40 pesos son 240 a la semana. Ah, sí. ¿Trabajando? Trabajando al cafetal, de los seis días, ¿no? de los seis días de la sí. semana. Sí. ¿Y trabajando acá? Trabajando aquí, pues ahorita nos dan 80 pesos. Es around 24 pounds a week, but when the harvest season finish, he back to the coffee plantations, you know, work, cleaning, planting, replanting. En that time he received 12 pounds a week. ¿Cuál, es, cuál podría ser la, la primera necesidad de ustedes? En, en la primera pues necesitamos que ganemos otro poquito más para, para que nos alcance pues para comprar medicina para nuestros hijos o para comprar la ropa a nuestros hijos. Uh -huh. Y también necesitamos este, unos medicamentos o atención médica. Sería bueno que, que también hubieran becas. Ah, perfecto. Becas para, uh -huh. para, el, para el futuro de los, de los niños pues. ¿Cuántos hijos tienes? Tengo siete hijos. ¿Siete hijos? ¿Has salido muy productivo? Ah, sí. <laughs> <laughs> Así es. He has seven children. Imagine, 24 pounds a week is difficult to buy a medicine. Something is going to happen for these people. I think something needs to come, no? It's we want to find the way to work one, one land, the best coffee, and protect that people. Or to, to make a thing with us, no? produce the best coffee and they have re the return from, from, from England to here. The quality of uh, people, I think, is, is incredible. Here the people is honest and after 14 years, I think we, we, we like a family. We, we have a very good relation. And I hope it is going to be some kind of return for them, no? Information, help, money if it's possible, but more uh, help, uh, real help. The story that I understand so far is, is very, very exciting. There is a genuine opportunity for people to understand how different people live. It's not a charitable endeavor, it's a trading thing. They can see how their choices as a consumer create um, positive effects. I think tomorrow is going to be raining. And normally when it's raining, the people come from the mountains, they put six, four, ten bucks in, in the taxi and go down to the village. And from there they start to find the best price. And normally when, when you start to buy, you start to, ah, I need one more, or I need to help these people. And you see all the children and you a little bit change your, your point of view about business, no? But we need to keep the quality in the same level to attack the market in England, no? It's, it's no other way to do it. My uncle Miguel, he started the, the coffee plantations in Jalisco state. And my father bring me there. I was five years old. And I remember I said, I'm going to, I'm going to sell coffee one day. I realized I need to go to the top quality. I need to go by the coffee in the mountains. I arrived here and I found this beautiful place and find a lovely coffee. This time for rain is the best because uh, it's finished the, the picking and it's perfect time for the flower. A little bit more difficult for work, but it's lovely for the coffee plantation. And this area is going to find the coffee. Normally, 
is a buyer here. He buys all the time, is why they're waiting here. These people come from the colonies and uh, they come to buy, they come to sell. Every Saturday they come here. Okay, I'm going to, to check the coffee is in good, good uh, quality. If it's in good quality, we, we fix the price. And after fix the price, we're going to weigh the coffee and, and pay them. Están haciendo película para después enseñar el café de Chiapas allá en otras partes. ¿Hasta dónde lo van a hacer? Inglaterra. Ahí check, ahí check. Very good uh, quality if you check and check if it's proper. Good work, no? Good wash. <laughs> We cleaning the pergamino to check the bean. It's in, those, in good conditions. This is no good. Yeah. This is no good. Frost. Frost. Normally you have a uh, 10% coffee you can leave, and with this selection you can take off. Seems pretty good. It's perfect. ¿Cuál es tu producción? ¿Cuánto sacaron este año? Así como saqué yo, nada más 10 bultos. 10, 10, bu 10 sacks only, this year. 10 sacks? Ya. Yeah. Pero hay otra prevé que saca más. ¿Do they use any chemicals? ¿Usan químicos? Huh? ¿Usan fertilizantes? ¿Qué usan? No. Nada. Nothing sí. because they don't have the uh, money for it. The price today is around 22, very, very cheap. Because it was 27 and went down the last two days. Uh, I said to him I'm going to buy his coffee, but I'm going to check the price and after say, see the price I'm going to go up a little bit to, to help them. See? These people come from, from the mountains. One or two, they, 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 they own the coffee and the rest is family. They come, sell the coffee, in that moment they buy shoes, things, food and come back happy to home. The buying for me is very, very special. I, you need to be very careful to don't uh, ex, to feel excited, uh, excited or or feel ah look the beautiful children. I I'm going to buy it, but it's not 100 percent quality sometimes. Why you need to be very serious and very dry about that? It's good, it's good, it's bad. I don't buy it. I can stop in the industry all day. I can have 20 tons in one go. But look, looking after the quality is, is a little bit uh, more easy for me. I prefer to do it with uh, a little bit one or two productors, small ones, but with uh, the quantity for me, no? Rafael was obviously very familiar with the problems and the difficulties in buying, and he's got a lot of compassion himself for these people. But at the same time, he's got his business head on and he's having to make sure that the purchase isn't going to trip him up further down the line with inferior quality coffee and also trying to help these people. Here's Vente. And he is very much well focused on that and that's what I'm also, you know, depending on him for. 1587.50. Rafael was saying that the buying price for coffee had just gone down and he paid um, considerably more than the, um, the, the, the current uh, market price for the coffee beans. That was very compassionate of him and that was, was very sweet. They were obviously very, very excited. It really made their day. Now the next process is selection. Size, weight and color. I make the three selections to be sure the coffee is going to be in perfect conditions. And after that, I start to roast the coffee and deliver it to the clients. Job done. Now the coffee is in England. It's time to roast. A spring wash coffee. This is Arabica. The green color show you the freshness. Perfect for every, every kind of roasting. The coffee go to the roaster. Fire in the bottom. The barrel moves. Heat all the machine, all the, this part is insulated, keep the heat inside. Comes the coffee here, close this for keep depression. 
And when the coffee is ready, come out to cooling down here. Okay, it's time to, to start the machine. We have five different blends for the market in England, but that don't mean we sell only that. We have whatever you want. If you said, okay, I want something sweeter, I make the blend for you and you're happy with your blend. This is the advance when you make the process yourself to buy the coffee in the mountain because you can check if the coffee is in good conditions and completely consistent. You don't see mistakes, you don't see bad coffees, no broken bits or, or bad quality ones. Because I, I make the selection for myself, you can make completely pure quality, no? This is ready. The coffee takes one hour, 20 or more, because it's very cold to to, to heat the machine because it's thick metal, takes time to, to heat everything. It takes 30 minutes to cool it down, and after that I take out, and after that I start to ground, package in bean or ground the coffee. Roast the coffee. Leave it one day to breathe a little bit. Normally I make all this process only for deliver the next day. And we don't stock coffee. I stock only the coffee I'm going to deliver. When the people try fresh coffee and try the normal coffee in the market, in that moment you feel the difference. Fresh makes all the difference. Raf is passionate about the coffee. And when we arrived in England, he was appalled at the non-quality of the coffee that's there. So we got up and started. We raised the funds that we needed to get the first container there, and the coffee sold itself on its quality and Rafa's passion. So you've been roasting uh, today? Yesterday. Uh, every day. Really? Yeah, this is from yesterday. It's okay, it's okay. It was amazing to, to be able to connect with those people. There was two sides of it. It was quite sad to see what was going on, but it was also um, it was also very beautiful. You went to Mexico and see all the process and finish here with a good cup of coffee, no? Yeah, absolutely. And your clients happy? Yeah, I've been telling everyone. I've been okay. telling all uh, regular customers. Like when I came back, I said, um, I just got back from the plantation. No, they didn't believe me. I said, yeah, yeah, I was in Chiapas, blah, blah, blah. What, really? You were really there? Wow. They need to see the photo. To see a product in the mountains and see it being picked and to see it being processed on the hillside in the sun, it's an incredibly powerful thing because what seems beyond your comprehension is suddenly understood. If you cover the chain or the process from the beginning to the end, you cover all the gaps. You going to arrive to perfection in some way. In England, the people appreciate the quality of the coffee. Yeah, that's nice. It's got good acidity. It's good for the restaurants. It's good for the people drinking coffee. It's good for me because I can bring the coffee to England. Next time we can say it's good for the growers because they have more and that money is going to make good things. I think we can do it, but first we need to grow the sellings and after that we see. It's simple, you drink the coffee, you understand. Mm, it's very good. The flavor is like uh, coffee. Ah, perfect. I don't need to talk. Sorry. Really, it's not bad, eh? I thought it was horrible, but it's okay. Do you want some? 